Hikko Mantakim Vekhullo Mahamaddin As a matter of fact, recently there is a rabbi, chief rabbi in Israel, mm -hmm. who have studied Islam. Yes. And now he went back to the original scripts of the Torah. Yes. And he found out that indeed Muhammad is the last and the seal of the prophets. And he's the one who's going to come at the end. As a matter of fact, there is, if you Google somewhere on the internet, you find out many of the Jews, when they go to the Wailing Wall, they say, Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. In reading the English translation of Song of Songs 516, it finishes the description by saying, He is altogether lovely, but what most people don't know is that the name of that man was given in the original Mejilat. Here is verse 16 and how it is written in ancient Hebrew before introducing the vowels in the 8th century. From the Hebrew Bible on scripturetext.com. Here is the word in question. This word is made of four letters. Mem. Het. Mem. Dalet. Now when reading the word as it is written in its original form, with no vowels, it can be read as Muhammad which is the name of the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad with no A after the H. According to Ben Yehuda's Hebrew-English Dictionary, it is correctly pronounced as Muhammad, not Mamad. So how we're going to know for sure, if it's pronounced as Muhammad, the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad, a random Hebrew word, the only way is to give the verse to a rabbi, and say to him please read. Here is the Song of Songs 516, and how it is read by a rabbi from a Hebrew Jewish site. Please notice, the im in, in Hebrew, is a plural of respect. <laughs> Muhammad, 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 Muhamm